a book about trees. Did you know trees are have their own type of like internet and Wi-Fi? Not Wi-Fi, like internet and Gmail. They can send emails across the world using some types of funguses and stuff. We're going to be learning that in a book called The Human Life of Trees. Our planet's all traffic regulations. Our planet, uh, trees, they have basically breathed in our carbon dioxide and spit out air. They are one of good sources of air, but yeah, they give us more air. And also, if you know how cloud uh, water evaporates into clouds, then clouds rain back into rivers. Trees help bring the clouds closer in coast than outer coast. By once the rain gets into the trees, they evaporate on the leaves. The leaves float up as clouds and then helps rain down, go further and further and further until it's all covered. Can I ask you how many kilometers, if we have no trees, how many kilometers will have rain and then inner core will be without rain? 60,000. 600. 600,000. So we'll only get the rain in the first 600 kilometers of the coast and all inlands will be no rain whatsoever. Yes. You carry on? Yeah. That's the first blink. Yeah. The second blink, these roots run deep. The trees have so many things. They have personalities. How? Well, someone was walking around, found three, uh, three trees, all connected down to the ground, have the exact same climate, sunlight, and water. And one of them shed earlier than the rest of the two. Oak trees. Oak trees, yeah. yeah. One shed it earlier. Two months earlier. Two, two, weeks, mo earlier, like two yeah. weeks earlier than the other ones. Because they have uh, they have learned from experience that if they shed too late, it's bad for them. Why and is it bad for them? Because if they shed too uh, late, they start making injuries in the trees. And yeah, it's with hard. the frostbite, yeah. they can injure the tree. With the lightning, strong lightning stuff, they can yeah. die in there. And they use fungus to connect to other trees. As a form of? As a form of email. Oh, so good. This is blade three. A high rate of uh, child mortality. Young trees live dangerous lives. How dangerous? So only one of millions of trees will survive. Why? They'll either have too much soil, too much moisture, too less moisture, not enough sunlight, not enough sunlight, uh, be, or even if they're in a good position that they, they have a perfect amount, but they will get other things like getting trampled on, getting uh, struck with lightning, or a lot of stuff makes not a lot of trees live a very long life. But when a tree is, uh, some trees have different preferences of where they want to be. Say like oak trees want to be next to each other. Uh, what was that one tree that wanted to be alone in meadows? Uh, called poplar. Poplar trees want to be uh, alone, but they will get uh, harsher weather. They're exposed to thunderstorms, rains, hard weather, and all that stuff. What is the normal age of the tree? A normal age of the tree is hundreds of years. Hundreds of years, yeah. How many child a normal tree will raise in their lifespan? One. That's it? Yes. Wow. Hello, this is Blink 4. Nursery schools, trees have personalities and are able to learn a lot. Say, uh, well, three trees are in one root. They're like all connected, uh, rolled next to each other. And one of those leaves shedded two weeks earlier than the others. Why? They said that uh, they have the same moisture, they have the same sunlight, time of day, everything is the same about them. But one, they are carefuler. If they keep their leaves for longer, they can make more photosynth uh, photosynthesis and gain more nutrients and store more. But if they keep on to the leaves for too long, they get hurt. Because storms, uh, storms, lightning, yeah, lightning their, excess winter, it's, it's just winter yeah. their leaves being um, frozen, so much stuff. But how do they remember? 
people say at the really top of the roots, it tells no, no, the tip uh, of their leaves. Yeah, tip of their leaves, it stores information. That information is really important for the tree to remember when to shed, how to shed. It's basically going for a poop. Link four, chatterbox. Trees can communicate. Did you know that? They use email, they use their scent. How do they use email and how do they use their scent? First, let's talk about scent. Scent, when, uh, say, a caterpillar is munching on their leaves, they send a, uh, another, more trees, so send a scent that attract a wasp to lay eggs in the caterpillar for larva or larvae to eat them up. Now, how do they use email? Email is a way of fungi. Fungi underneath them can send the information really quickly and it's linked through hundreds and thousands of miles of fungi of all the trees are connected. That's why when a tree is getting like attacked by an infestation and, uh, and it's like one of those trees in a lone meadow, a, a tree very far away can send an email that uh, then they can send a scent to a wasp to go attack the uh, infestation of caterpillars. This is how they use email. How would they do with the giraffes? Giraffe? When a giraffe is eating one of those favorite type of leaves, what's their name? Uh, forgot. Sorry. Yeah, the, their favorite type of leaves, the tree sends a poisonous warning scent that will poison them if they keep eating. Giraffes know this game very well, so they just walk away and go to the next one a couple thousand miles away. Not Couple hundred miles. Couple, couple hundred meters away. Couple hundred meters away. <laughs> couple hundred meters away yeah. because they send a signal to every tree in a hundred meters because there's a giraffe attack happening. Yeah. Next blink, lucky mushrooms. Mushroom uh what's it called? Mycelium is a connection through all the things like a tiny little thread type of all the trees. The fungus there if there's not enough nitrogen in the ground, they kill all the uh, microorganisms and release on the all, top layer of the on soil. The top la on the top layer of the soil, mm. they kill them all and get all the uh, nitrogen stored inside of them to stay alive longer mm. and help the, tree. help the tree. The tree gives it water. Uh, the, the fungus gives it water, and the tree gives it sugar. That's a great partnership, isn't it? Yes. So is that partnership always happen in all the trees? Is it good? Bad? It's very good. Mm -hmm. It happens in mostly all the trees. With um, the fungus is? Well, uh, with the one with fungus. Mm -hmm. And yeah. Next blink. Respect. Respect trees. Trees have so many different ways of living. Like the ecosystem. If uh, have you ever heard of the story of three trees? One tree fell down in the middle, but it's it stayed alive for more than four hundred years. Yeah, more than four hundred years. How? The tree was helped by its neighbors, giving it more and more nutrients, water, and it just helped live it the tree longer. If there was no uh, new, uh what's it called ecosystem. ecosystem in the around us, all the trees would just die off. There will, no trees will be alive again. So what about the new forest which they grow just for cutting down and making yeah, furniture? Yeah, they grow trees just to cut them down. Grow, cut, grow, cut. Soon we'll lose all the air we have in the world. No, what about the ecosystem you learned yeah, about it? Yeah, the ecosystem will collapse because every time they grow it, it's gone immediately. Grow, so, gone. Grow, no, gone. I'm asking you what is the minimum age which a tree or ecosystem need to develop? A hundred years. 80 to 120. 80, uh, 80 to 120. 20 years, okay. Respect trees. Respect trees like humans and animals. Why? The industry, the foresty, uh, forestry, foresty, forestry, industry, yeah, yeah. forestry industry, mm -hmm. is been cutting down trees without a proper, like they cut down, it regrows. Then the. Very early in their age, they aren't yeah. matured yet. Means they can't really produce yeah. more kids. Yeah. But uh, if, even for beech trees, it takes eighty to one hundred twenty years for them to get mature, 
matured, matured, no. matured and uh, let and have babies. Mm. But uh, for forest trees, it's only a hundred years old mm -hmm. until they get matured and lay uh, babies. Mm -hmm. But still, they have to wait like a hundred years or stop uh, growing and then cutting down mm -hmm. and make a proper way. So, so what was a misconception? Uh, like they were thinking that younger trees will grow more faster or the yeah they were thinking younger trees yeah. grow faster so that's why they keep cutting the yeah, younger trees they keep cutting them down, that's, down, a, down. That's, that's a myth that's not a, not a true thing the older trees grow faster is it yes and what will happen to the ecosystem if we keep cutting if there is not too many trees like different not too many varieties of the trees we have just one variety in the whole whole jungle we just lived it up for like four it five will years. Uh, always be like the, um, ecosystem. What yeah. will happen to the ecosystem, the will, ecosystem will lowering down mm -hmm. because we're cutting down the trees and if it's like the beast trees mm -hmm. 180 to 150 mm -hmm. it will take too long and we'll keep cutting them down lowering our trees forever Good. final summary trees are unval uh, unvalued undervalued undervalued organisms they can do so much more than often realized they, they can communicate and help each other out they uh, they have these senses and are designed to fit well into their place, in, uh, into their ecosystems. We should all respect trees and care about their welfare just as we do to animals. Thank you.